Welcome back to the Midnight Who Show, and tonight I'm going to be reviewing the first five episodes of the brand new Goosebumps series that was released on Disney Plus and Hulu. Now, I'll be honest, uh, when the trailer first released for the show, I was not impressed. It did not look very good. It didn't really feel Goosebumps to me. I did see little hints of some things that we might be familiar with, like the camera ask. That trailer did not make me want to go watch the show. So I went in with super low expectations, and after watching these five episodes, I actually found myself enjoying them. I don't think this is a perfect show, but it's not awful. I am a huge fan of the classic Goosebumps series, you know, where each week there's a different book being adapted. That was so cool, but we're not getting that here. It's an overarching story with some Goosebumps elements. The basic premise of this show is that after a Halloween party, five teenagers soon find themselves cursed by haunted objects. But they also soon discover that these haunted objects are being controlled by a spirit that burned in the haunted house where the party was at 30 years ago. And they soon find out that their parents might have been involved. And if you're a Goosebumps fan, these haunted objects will be very familiar. The haunted mask, the camera, worms, the cuckoo clock of doom, and a haunted book that recounts the events and brings you right back to the past. How they use these haunted objects in the show are not like the books. They do their own thing, and I will say, it's pretty good. I think the camera was done really well, and the Cuckoo Clock of Doom, I really like the twist of making it kind of a time loop. That was really good, and then little duplicates. That was a little bit different and clever. I will say that the Worms episode was pretty gross at times. Of course, it me eating the worms and that giant worm monster, but it was very well done. I think the Haunted Mask was the only one that I'm a little bit iffy. Like, just, like, I like the idea that they went with, but I don't think the finished product of the full Demon Goblin look. The full Goblin look did come out, by the way, that we're all used to with the kind of Haunted Mask. I just was not a huge fan of that one. That was the one that I was a little bit iffier on. One thing I really appreciated with the show was that it was a little bit more mature and a little bit darker than the previous Goosebumps movies and show that we had. There was still a little bit of humor spread throughout these episodes, which definitely reminded me of the classic Goosebumps series. Now, I will say the one part I did not like about the show is the love triangle between some of the teenager characters. That was not something I really cared about. It was definitely the worst part of these episodes, for me at least. And there was even a little bit going on with some of the adults in the town having an affair. That was the show. That was the part I just did not like. Five episodes were pretty good stories. I did really enjoy them. Some of the dialogue worked for me and some did not. I am enjoying all of these characters, but Justin Long, I think, is the best part of the show so far. I just, they're being, how they are portraying them being like this adult being possessed. And they're doing a really good job with that. Definitely making them awkward, but also very creepy at times. And soon we're going to see them the only slappy. I cannot wait for that. So yeah, while I do wish we had another anthology type Goosebumps show, I'm kind of happy with what we got. Not the greatest show of all time. It's just all right. Uh, but I can see how people will not like the show. But I also can see why some will like this or be right in the middle. It's definitely not the Goosebumps show I think anyone would have wanted. They're doing their own thing. And we'll see how this unfolds in the second half. What did you guys think of the show? Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.